All right, so you can see in here that is the issue. Hey everyone, so it appears that I'm gonna have to deal with the fuel delivery system. We, ne we never totally cleaned out the tank or checked the, the suction and the hose to the tank or checked the petcock or the fuel valve. So we're gonna do that. It's still having an issue with the fuel. So, I'm going to try a bunch of things and see what the deal is. That means we're going to have to dig down into here, get to the tank. Probably have to try and take this out, I'm not sure. Not something I wanted to do, but here we are again. Work, work, work on this thing. So. What do you do? <laughs> That, this thing has flanges that come out and go around. The bars down there. So I'm not sure. Might have to take this whole back plastic off. I would rather not take this whole thing off, but seeing as how this comes way under and over, just like these pieces right here, that hook over the frame, it does the same thing underneath here. Okay, there's the on-off fuel valve or petcock or whatever you want to call it. I think there's a diaphragm in there. That might have to be replaced. And then whatever the pickup is in the tank, that's what I'd like to get at. Okay, that's all the wires. This part will come out. It's this back part with the almost tempted to just cut it off but instead of having to take this whole thing off the rack and the plastic and all right so you can see in here that is the issue this part of the 
plastic at the back is stopping it. That'll give me enough room to get at all the stuff there that I need to get at. The fuel pickup and the valve. Bend it all the way back before it breaks. All right. Yeah, so you got the fuel sensor, I guess it is. I don't think it's the fuel sensor. I think it has to do more with this petcock or valve or whatever you want to call it. I can take that off and pull that right out, I think. And I think that might be the issue. I think, I do a lot of thinking, but, but most of the time I'm not right. So, start taking her apart. And there's the fuel pump. Take the line off there and put it around. Oh, come on. Okay, everything's off of there. This bracket, by the way, is on upside down for some reason. The people put it on upside down. I do not know why. We'll fix that. Green looks clean. Yeah, the filter screen looks clean. It's not plugged, but the rest of this could be. Might just get a new petcock or fuel valve or pickup, whatever you want to call it. Might just get a new one, anyways. Try and keep some of the crap out of there anyways. Like I said, this bracket goes on upside down. We're going to take it off anyways. Might as well just get a new one. 
So at this point, there's not much more I can do right now. I'm gonna order a new uh, fuel valve and intake there, and and then we'll see from there. Like I said, this is just a sensor for the uh, the pickup that uh, tells you how full the tank is, and it works. So I'm not gonna bother with that. It's just the fuel intake, and the pump is new. So no reason to change that. Might take this primer out. They put this primer in and I don't really like it. Shouldn't need it. Take that out. There's a chance there could get air in that line, but take that out and then I'll know for sure. So, and then the pump will be put in properly. And then uh, if we still got issues, then uh, time for the gasoline and fire. I was smoking and it whoop, in the hole. Oh well. <laughs> All right, till next time.